Hello guys, it's another review of the Men's Club Season 3, Episode 12. Welcome to another video, guys. If this is your first time, I am Tamuski. Welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back to this channel. So the episode started with Landry and we discovered that um, Denny has finally ended things with Landry and doesn't want to have anything to do with him anymore. And then that is all for Larry. Larry did not really have his screen time. Oh yeah, he told Louis about his relationship, the relationship he had with Denny and Louis knows and he's kind of cool with it. Though Lala is not cool with it, but he's not mad at him for it. Yeah. Since he's no longer dating her and he wants it to remain like that. He's not angry about it, but he knows Lola is not fine with it and he knows Lola is angry with Landry just because he's dating um, a mother and about Tayo Tayo and Tiara has finally broken up Tayo went to see Tiara at the rehab and um, Tiara ended things with Tayo and she discovered that Tayo is a trigger and doesn't want him around her anymore because whenever he does things that hurt her she goes back to taking drugs and all she wants to end things with Tayo and she hopes that when she gets she hopes that when she gets well they can you know try something out if he is still single and she's also single as well you no know? and then Luis Lola got angry you know the last time uh, in the last episode we saw that Tony came to the house and tried to kiss Luis but Luis <laughs> Luis <laughs> Please told that video that he was just trying to, you know, you know, copy all the the, the things he see in movies and wanted to make it a little bit a little bit dramatic. That was why he did as he wanted to kiss her, but wasn't going to kiss her. In those movies now, when like a, like the character comes really close and you don't like let her come close and just yeah, like you are stupid, you are, you are. So Lola got mad at him and you know true true um louis out of our house you know she called the house their house but now she's she told louis that the house is a house trying to claim ownership over the house then louis left the house she later went to louis's lounge to apologize to him and they got back together and yeah they're cool now and then Haminu, the main kukukuku of this episode. Firstly, they started um, is part of the story with a good notes in this episode. You know, he and Tumini are finally getting stronger, and he gave Tumini the key to his house and wants Tumini to move in with him. We thought everything was going on well. When I even saw the title of today's episode legacy i knew something was going to happen something was going to go wrong with aminu's business then it turned out that mohammed is back and you know he has been the one i'm sorry um maybe aminu's secretary has been given information about aminu's new project to mohammed for those who don't know who mohammed is mohammed is Adiza's ex um, fiance, the guy that beats Adiza, you know, you know, in season two, Aminu helped Tayo and Ad I am Tayo, yeah, to, to, you know, Aminu went against um, Mohammed just because of Tayo and um, Adiza, and now he's back to take revenge on Aminu. I don't understand. He's meant to go after Tayo. What is Aminu's business there? I really don't know why he's doing all he's doing, but yeah, he's back and he has been getting information about Amino's tank farm from Amino's secretary. And um, I don't even trust Amino's secretary because the because Amino took Amino was getting ready for the launch of the new company, and he took two minutes to. Um, his office to meet uh, his father and when he got there Patrick came in and was trying to apologize to Aminu and you know Aminu wanted to send him out but he told Aminu to listen to him and he told Aminu uh, no he brought Mary with him and he was like he was like telling Mary to 
tell to talk to Amino and tell Amino something. You know, I don't know how he got to know that Miri has been giving information to Mohammed. I mean, I think Patrick knows about it because everything is a game. I feel he's playing Amino, he's still playing Amino because how does he, how did he know? How did he know that Miri has been giving information to Mohammed? I feel he he connived with Mohammed to get at Amino because they both have a common enemy. Yeah, and I feel everything is just a game. So now Amino's tank farm has been burnt to the ground yeah amino has been sacked has been fired by his father because his father is disappointed and you know his money and everything gone his tank farm too burnt so he's he fired amino and now patrick is the ceo of the company hmm. what he's been you know seeking for <laughs> man I, I don't even know what to do. This, <laughs> the um, editor is really, really petty. Like when they were showing the end credit, he, <laughs> he even had a fire effect to it to so show us that ah, the tank farm has really, really been burned too. Really, guys, I think they should just give Aminu, happy, like why they would just make him happy for some time and then you know give him sad time again. I, I don't understand. In season two you know he was if i finally found love you know he was with too many and and then jasmine came in and scattered everything you know they make they, they, i don't even know what i mean that character did to the writer of the script i don't know but then i feel it's, it's just going to be fine it's going to be fine but that mohammed i don't know the reason why he's back i don't know what's it because that guy is, is a devil while he was with adiza adiza never really enjoyed her life because he beats adiza every single time so now that he's back i'm sure he's he's going to come for tayo too as well because tayo and adiza are still seeing each other and he's still go, he's still going to come back for tayo as well and also maybe adiza <laughs> i don't know how this is going to end and this is the 12th episode you know normally the season is meant to have like 13 episodes so i don't know if next week would be the final episode or this season will have a longer episode than the usual ones so yeah my expectations for tayo and tiara they are they are still going to come back together or, uh, they, are, they can't just kill their love like that or i don't know if the writer is trying to make tayo and adiza um a thing I don't know, but let's just see what is going to happen. And Lanry and um, Lanry and Tenny too. I think they are going to still um, make up and you know get back together as well. And then Luis and Lola. I mean, Luis brought the idea of a wedding to Lola. Yeah, and in the trailer we saw that they had a wedding. So. We are still expecting that wedding and you know in the next episode probably they will start the preparation and all of that yeah so we are waiting for it and aminu hey now that everything has scattered and all he said um he insured it and i feel maybe the insurance people are going to you know help him get everything back you know get it back for him i don't know because they will have to investigate first to know the source of the damage that happened at the time from before they can you know get it get another one for him i just hope that he stands up again you know rises up again and be the strong amino that he has always been i just i don't even want him to continue working in his father's company you know maybe start his own business try again i'm sure to me is going to be there for him and help him that is all for the review what are your own expectations for the next episode drop drop them in the comment section yeah if you haven't subscribed to this channel click on the subscribe button turn on post notification so as not to miss any of my videos that is all for today i will see you guys next time bye